Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Beer God Bros. Today we brought a special piece of Toronto with you. To you. Yeah, to yeah. you. Yeah. Uh, we're coming in with a beer from our very own Bellwoods Brewery. So sit back, relax, grab a six pack, and we'll dive into what we brought for you today. All right, Ion, so this is the beer that I brought for us today. Oh my God, Phil. It's not like, it's not like this is our fourth time doing this. <laughs> no, not at all. I, I, I'm surprised that, you know, it's my first time seeing this can. Yeah, so this is uh, Bellwoods Brewery, Bellweiser, yeah. Pilsner, 4.8%. I'll show you a quick little uh, show of that while Ion reminisces of the days where we used to live at Trinity Bellwoods. Yeah. In the area. Yes, and I don't use Rogers Internet because I know Bell Weiser. I'm not a rapper though. Ah, but, okay, dang. get it, get it. But anyways, yeah, man, Trent to Bell was area. So some crazy days. Yeah, he he calls it the Toronto's first outdoor club, club yeah. like public club, because in the pandemic era, we were there in, in height of COVID. Yeah, and the entire city would go there because that was the only place you could like safely social distance but also drink gratuitous amounts and when the sun when the weather was fine of yeah course, right yeah yeah during the summertime it was like it was almost 2016 summer vibes how everyone kind of compares that to being like the party summer you know oh okay i wasn't here back then but oh sure. really yeah oh you yeah. missed it okay yeah, i missed it drake but... dropped an album it just kind of blew up the city and everything i love toronto i love this scene Oh, well, Drake dropped an album recently, too. Yeah. Have you listened to it? I have not heard one song. No? No. That, I think that shows that you're maturing I guess in life. So. I, it's, it's been out long enough, though, so is it a, is it a slap or a, or a flop? I think it's his best project in the last four or five years. Yeah? I would say so. There are some, there are some four, there are four or five very good songs that I would say okay. that okay. I like drink this while you talk about it okay so i've been hearing that that's been like the best album since the one with future and is this is this a safe I think, assumption i think this is better than what a time to be alive really but it is lower than uh, if you're reading this is too late because okay. it's a similar formula rap songs street bangers it's not like scorpion or views where there's like some singing, crooning, you know, like yeah, he had like, like six different kind of genres on, yeah, it, like whiskey. It's not like that. This is just rap, some melodic mm -hmm. singing as well, just because it's Drake. If you like, you like, but uh, I would say five songs out of ten or whatever, however many songs there is, pretty good. First three songs, very good. Well, you should listen to, to Drizzy. It. Yeah, uh, but yeah, man, like after thirty. Drake doesn't hit the same, in my opinion. <laughs> really? Certified lover boy, you're 30, 34 years old, bro. You're, yeah, I guess. You're, not a, you're not a boy you're, anymore. You're a lover man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, he still makes good music though when he wants to. This is a Pilsner. He feels inspired. Yo, this is, this is good. a Pilsner, man. This looks nice. This looks like our logo. Kind of. That's true, almost. A little bit more foam if we pour it up right. Mm. That's very drinkable. Very drinkable indeed. This, you know, I almost don't want to ask, yeah. where do you see yourself drinking this? <laughs> it's, it's, it's in the park right beside the brewery. Yeah. <laughs> Man. And, and I think the beer reflects that, you know, yeah. that vibe. It's easy to drink when you're oh. kicking, relaxing with a group of friends. Maybe you have a dog or two around you and there's some... This there's a group of people that play frisbee there every day. I don't know how they make a living. Yeah, but yeah, they don't. They're there every day. Tuesday, two p.m. He's there, there. Yeah, playing frisbee. Yeah, yeah. it's it's a good time. So going going back to Bellwoods, the park in the summertime in, in the in the COVID pandemic. Yes, it was it was crazy, man. I went to birthday parties there. I would just go there because I have a dog park. Bring my dog out and and I would just booze there responsibly and and it was insane man the the way the city flooded there they flocked yeah it was actually crazy man like yeah. it was better than living in downtown core yeah like 
it's still very close to downtown and all the like it's a 10 minute bus ride yeah but you know and you know so much more fresh air i'm sure that bellwood's brewery really really cashed out during that time because mm. people were just going to the brewery getting yeah. beer to go yeah it was one of the few establishments that allowed to stay open because they sold alcohol yeah and uh taking beer to go and then just go take there, the beer right? to go it's steps away from the park so you yeah. just walk right into the park it's very like european almost yeah yeah because yeah. they they legalized drinking in parks during that time before that you couldn't you weren't allowed to do it yes and it was just like such a such a weird thing they drew the social distancing circles no one no one really paid attention to them no one did no, no. one did and uh if you had an issue with it, you had an issue with it. But, you know. Yeah, it was crazy, man. Instagram Try. comments were going crazy about that. Like, like, we cared, bro. Like, we were... Nobody cared. So, like, we had no human interaction almost. Like, yeah. people had no human interaction. We lived together, so... It was... We, uh, it was we very, had some form of sanity, but... Yeah, at least, right? Thank God. Uh, it was very interesting seeing people kind of talk. It was like desperation in the air but not like in a, in a very unhealthy way but it was like it was like a music longing. festival where people are high on drugs and they have these good feelings like yeah felt like they were under they the can influence. make a best friend like that <laughs> or or a, or a new girlfriend new boyfriend yeah like in a span of seconds it was just yeah. like oh man i haven't talked to someone in so long like yeah. both guys and girls yeah for sure so i was very very interesting to see unfold like in real time to see it happen it was actually crazy yeah yeah but uh, anyways can design what what are the colors brown and brown uh and, uh, green orange okay. green orange and this is kind of like uh, mocha off, okay. off white i really like the colors man i really like the can like left naked on the top yeah that's like, that's kind of their signature thing too a lot yeah. of these uh craft brewers do that and just slap a sticker on yeah and i like the color blocking pretty good design definitely and uh definitely looks nice how many do you see yourself drinking this dude i i could drink 12 of these mm. no problem they are smooth as hell smooth as hell smooth <laughs> as hell man i could drink these any situation anytime beautiful great yeah. great drink really agreed agreed I think I'm the same. Like, not 12, yeah, but I see either. a couple. He's not about that action. No, not about that life. Um, yeah, couple. I would see myself. Very easy to drink. Mm -hmm. Nobody's going to mad at you. Nobody's going to get mad at you if you no. order it for a friend. So, yeah. I see I see. you have this book here. Are, are, you, are you reading this book? I'm glad my mom died. Mm, no, it's, uh, it's my shorty's yeah <laughs> dude this book i don't know if you guys know the backstory i i'm assuming you don't know the backstory mm -hmm. so this is the girl from iCarly and apparently like her mother kind of pushed her into the whole show and everything it was a very popular show when we were when we were younger mm -hmm. and then nickelodeon has a lot of these like weird dark secrets going around like some sort of foot fetish foot fetishizing things that happen they'll like put like isn't that a child's channel it was a child's it, it is a child's channel and in the show they were like young teenagers growing into adults by the end of it but they were like young teenagers so it's very very uncomfortable she's like saying she's she, spoiler alert here if you don't want to hear this she's saying <laughs> i don't think anybody who watches us watches it. i can't <laughs> who knows well, okay <laughs> she she was saying that like her first kiss was was on camera on the show and like the executive producer came and gave her direction through it like oh yeah you know turn your head more and be a little bit more passionate it's like that kind of creeped her out yeah and then and then all the foot fetishy stuff that happens on it as well was like they would like put peanut butter on their feet and like draw faces on their toes and like wiggle their toes and then like ariana grande was on was on a show victorious and she has like a clip of her sucking her her toes are you serious right now bro and they're like young man this is before she was like big so it's like <sighs> super super trippy stuff i mean ariana grande right now looks like she's 17 so <laughs> like <laughs> like maybe younger so i don't want to i don't want to imagine anything yeah that's crazy oh, though man so she really just they, they offered her 300k to like zip it really about all the stuff that happened 
I bet like, she made more money with this. Probably. Like this became this became a sensation on Instagram and everything when it dropped. So they offered her like three hundred K and she said no. Yeah. <laughs> it's all like exhibit like once four hundred million finished. plus tax. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why she said it probably. Yeah, for real, man. She secured the bag. Mm. And I mean like that title and, and the picture is just very uh, eye catching as well. Yeah. So she knew what she was doing, man. She did a great job. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. wild, wild ride. Yeah. Anyways, transition. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <man. laughs> uh, what would you rate this beer? Oh man, I'm rating this a, I'm rating this a ten. Yeah. I will give it a ten. Yeah. Yeah. This is like what a typical beer looks like. In I my know. Opinion. It's just like, so it's not drinkable. A lager, it's this. You know? It's Pilsner. It's so drinkable. Like, it tastes good. I think the price point for this beer was like a. Uh, Three fifty five, something yeah. like that. Not yeah. that bad. Not it's that kind bad. of expensive end, but that's what you get for a brewery in downtown. Yeah, Toronto. I mean, craft beer. That's that's almost the average for it. But yeah. dude, this is this is smooth. I would love to drink it on tap. Mm-hmm. And sure. and it it hits well. It's, no cursing. Kurt, hey, leap that up. He please. knows. He knows. Thank you, Alec. That's why we're uncensored on Rumble. Yes. If you want to go see the the fun, the fun stuff. Yeah. We don't censor the burps there. No, we don't. So, anyways. Have we ever burped on the show? I silently did. Okay. Internally. You ate it? You ate Mm -hmm. your burp? Yeah, like this. Exclusive. (laughs) Exclusive. (laughs) No, I'm kidding. (laughs) Jokes. Jokes. (laughs) What are you rating this? Uh, Rate this a solid 8. Yeah. It's 8.5. Yeah. For, Yeah. Yeah, very good. Very drinkable. I love this. Yeah, it's a good time, man. Yeah. And I'm just reminiscing on the on that summer of COVID. As yeah. bad as it was, this was this was one of those lights at the end of the tunnel that yeah. just kind of made things a lot easier. Yeah. We had a nice backyard too where we could just have a beer. Mhm. Yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching. Yeah, make sure you like and subscribe and uh check out all our socials. Yes. Peace out.